a local gym suddenly closes after owners say they were kicked out by their landlord. But it goes deeper than that. And Eyewitness News is digging deeper to find answers for members. Eyewitness News anchor Steve Nielsen joins us now live in our studio with the new details he's discovered. Well, Mike, the owner of the North Providence Gold's Gym is encouraging members to just go to their Warwick location. So I decided to dig through tax records to see how that property, the one that's still open, is doing. The results surprised me. An abrupt closure, leaving customers in the dark. But I've learned the problem may be even bigger than first thought. The gym closed down. Armin Lemoy's wife was inside Gold's Gym in North Providence Thursday when she was kicked out. They were in there and someone walked in. I guess it was the owner of the building. I'm not sure. And asked everyone if they would leave. So they left. All day Friday, people came by to see why their gym was closed. I just had renewed my membership for two years. So... Yeah, pretty upset. The owner of this North Providence Gold's Gym is Gable Fitness Incorporated. It was shut down because the property owner said Gable didn't pay rent for a year, totaling more than $224,000. Signs out front indicate Gable Fitness believes they were shut down without warning. Also on the sign, Gable Fitness said customers could use their other location in Warwick. So I wanted to know more about that location that's still open and went to the Warwick tax collector's office. I discovered personal property tax records dating back to 2008 show Gable Fitness hasn't paid a dime to the city in six years. That means the location where Gable's directing customers to go to owes $80,587 in delinquent personal property taxes. The Attorney General's office says they've been in contact with the owner, but the owner hasn't gotten back to us. Meantime, North Providence customers aren't sure what to do. It's, it's not going to be convenient. The Attorney General's office encourages anyone who had a membership with the North Providence location to get in touch with them. We've posted a link on how to do just that on our website, WPRI.com. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. We're also working an update for you now on another local gym who closed their doors unexpectedly. We checked in with the Attorney General's office in the case of Flex Gym in Boroughville. Members showed up to work out on March 29th and found the doors locked. Though some tell us they had just renewed their memberships. The AG says they're in contact with the owner of Flex Gym and they're trying to resolve the complaints. You can count on Eyewitness News to stay on top of the story and bring you any new developments.